Hi my YouTuber friends, it's Scarf Punk again with another video and this is more about is it viable to have pets with you when doing van life or alternative living? Well this is just my opinion I think it can, it can work if you're one of those van dwellers that travel as a snowbird and you go to other places where the weather's warmed up or steady and you work on computers, you work in your van then you can do it but if you're one of those people that have a regular job and you do park your van and you go to work, go into a building and no pets allowed in the, I guess in the spring and summer, no in spring and autumn where it's, the weather's just right you can leave your dog in there all day I've done that myself a couple times but in the winter time I don't know it's freezing cold and not to mention the summertime too the heat is hot and your van is going to be like an oven in the summertime which means your dog will get hurt will be hot and I love my dog I want to have to my lovely dog mm. you're the best scrappy you're so sweet woof 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 oi love my dog I don't know what I'll do if anything happened to him and having a pet with you is awesome you know I did a video a while back about being alone you know if people feel alone you know the old saying is if you, you want a you want companion get a dog they say or a cat or a rat or a mouse or a rabbit or a fish or a turtle anyway you get the point so yes it can be viable and no it cannot be depending on where you are me I have a steady job I work for myself and I work in retail so if it's freezing cold in the winter time I cannot leave my dog in the van and I can't leave the heater on. I do I do leave the heater on when I'm in there overnight to, to sleep. And I got the space to do so as you can see. I do have the space so I can do that. But when I'm out in the van and I'm out all day, I can't leave the heater on. I can't take that chance. And my dog in the van messing around and me, you know, bring some play with toys or clothes or have the pillow there. You see the pillow there, you may have the pillow and pull drag the pillow towards this and then it can catch fire. I doubt it will happen though because the way the heat my heater set. It's set, it's set, so it's high off the ground. So he like to lift the pillar up there to play with. But the way the way I work, and there's a lot of people who do van dwelling who live in the city, who live in the city, and they do have steady work. That's how they live. And then you have the other van dwellers that travel, who live, who work from home basically, or work from home, which is their van, which is of course your home. So they work from home in their van. Those people can do it because they're home basically every day with their dog and they walk their dog and do their thing or cat or whatever pet you choose to have but if you're traveling if you're working in the city like I do work a regular job like I do because I chose a simpler life but I kept my job because I love what I do I'm lucky I, I love the jobs I do but I can't leave my dog here in the winter time or the heat it, it'll burn my dog alive like an oven or it'll freeze my dog to death leaving him all day because I can't leave the van running I can't leave the heater running but that's just me so the answer in that case is yes and no you can have pets with you when doing van life or alternative living but it depends on how you work and how you're living I mean what you do for a living actually again like I said before if you do work inside your van like online like some van dwellers do or you or your snowbirds and travel to deep uh, and you keep up with the, the weather wherever you go the weather is just right you could do that right Scrappy? you can do that but if you're doing what I do it's hard to do that but I'm lucky in a sense because I do have a base so I do leave my dog at home in the base because you know just like some of the rich people rich people have two three houses technically in a funny way I have two houses I have a base and I have a van a base, a van. So you see, I got two homes. This is my home away from home, and I got my base. So when it's like now, it's like today, it's like 32 degrees. My hands are freezing. It's freezing. Now. You can feel it kind of hard. It's cold. It's freezing out here, actually. It's pretty freezing. Let's see where it is. See, it's freezing out here. To the smoke. It is freezing. And my, my dog is okay now because I'm here with him, but I can't leave my dog in here, and I wouldn't do that. This is my precious partner in crime if you will this is, and he's a punk rock dog too oi punk rock right scrappy what do you say woof 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 right okay well that's my opinion anyway what do you guys think let me know down a bit down the bottom would you would you if you do van life would you have a pet with you or you want to do it by yourself or with a partner what do you think anyway keep it nice keep it sweet and keep it bloody well oi all right and my dog wants to say something too 
Go on, say great. Go on. Go on, Scrappy, say. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof. Oh, he's ignoring me. He said, ah, bollocks. But box to you then. That's how you feel. Anyway, guys, keep it nice, keep it sweet, and keep it real anyway. And this is just my opinion, what I think. All right? But in general, having a pet is awesome. Laters.